Hello everybody, this is the multi-platform Mike Levin about to show you my new derivative distribution of Linux called Levinix. I'll show it to you on the Macintosh desktop first. The premise is that it double clicks from uh, and runs from the desktop of either Mac, PC, or Linux. We'll do the Mac first. Right now on my hardware, the Mac version boots the fastest. What you're seeing is the QEMU emulator running Tiny Core Linux, a distribution of Linux that's really good for this sort of stuff, which I customized so that it takes recipes and builds servers. Right now it's installing the GWAN web server and the Dropbear SSH server. And it ends at this little menu, which you could exit and log out. But the idea is you could uh, log in remotely over SSH or get into a web browser using localhost. This is the exact same uh, set of files I'm about to show you here on Ubuntu. Click Run on Linux. It has the added step of having to actually choose how to run it because uh, Linux has a few different running contexts. And I'm on a very uh, weak motherboard right now, a uh, Atom generation, an Intel Atom uh, netbook motherboard is here in my Commodore 64X. So that's going to take a few minutes to run, but it's going to look exactly the same as it did on the uh, MacBook Air. And while we're waiting, I'll go over to the exact same thing on my Windows desktop. And once again, we'll do the proof of concept. The reason it's a proof of concept is because I used sort of a magic cocktail of, uh, of files to get this working. And I didn't compile QEMU myself. So the alpha version uses my own, my own compiled binaries which is a lot more promising because it's going to offer me more control. And here we see the nice colorful interface coming up in the proof of concept Linux on the uh, Windows desktop. Same thing as the Mac, you'll see. Exact same set of files. All I did is click a different script file to get it started. Ubuntu one. Now this is not Ubuntu's fault. It's taking a long time. This is because I'm running a slow motherboard. I plan on fixing that in not too long. But while that's going on, I'll just show you uh, what you can do here. Uh, I plan on this being sort of a, uh, a learning platform. So uh, I'll go down and pull up a uh, terminal window. And what you do in a terminal window with Levinix is you can uh, SSH into this little virtual machine now. SSH username TC at localhost connection refused that's because I need to do port 2222 password, which is foo, and there you go. This login is actually to this, uh, this little virtual machine, and you can see I've got something called the uh, GWAN web server. It's a fancy little fast web server from a, a friend of mine, and uh, if you wanted to see us actually reach the web server, we could open Chrome go to localhost, this is localhost 8080, and you'll see that this website is actually being served from that virtual machine. This makes it a wonderful little development platform. Oh, and I did forget to show you, it did in fact finish on Ubuntu. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run Linux Alpha on each of the platforms so that I can show the developers who I'm asking help for, the problems that I'm encountering on each platform.
first we do uh, run on Linux with Ubuntu. This time we just say run in terminal instead of run because I'm actually recycling the uh, terminal windows uh, for this non-graphics or curses uh, interface which has the advantage of never losing your pointer when you click in the, uh, the terminal windows. Uh, you actually lose your pointer when you click in the terminal windows with uh, the graphics version of QEMU. So while the Ubuntu version is booting, I'll run over here to the Mac version of Linux. Run on Mac, we double click it. Watch how fast you have a Linux machine here. This is a great way to even start learning Linux if you're on a Macintosh. For all the great reasons that are listed in this article and in other places on my website. There you go, it ends in that little uh, login prompt. That's all there is to the, uh, the alpha right now. And uh, now for the Windows version. On Mac, the only problem I have is uh, getting that binary file that does this to be compatible uh, across uh, different Mac OS uh, versions. And on Windows, as you can see, uh, the text interface, it's already booted, but the, the text interface is just uh, black and white. I lose the, uh, the color curses interface. It uses a different library than uh, Linux and uh, Mac, which both use, uh, I believe, the N curses library, whereas uh, the Windows, Windows uses PB curses. It's a little bit different. So anyway, there is the alpha version of Linux running on each desktop. It's the little black box and eventually I'll get these up to speed with the proof of concept versions so they'll be running little SSH servers for logging in remotely and uh, a web server for doing application development and uh, it'll be able to run infinite different recipes that you prepare and these little virtual machines will expand out to be whatever sort of you know net app you want it to be.